Okay, today we're going to talk about another crease. We're going to uh, try to hand shape our own hats again today. Uh, we're going to try the diamond crease, which is essentially like a normal 1940s kind of cool film noir crease. Essentially, it's a teardrop that's just modified with a point in the back, too. Instead of being round like a horseshoe behind your head, it's pointed. So, basically, you make a teardrop and then do the point at the end. It's like one more step. We're going to work on that a little bit today. And, uh, as by tradition, I'm going to play a little guitar first. So, let's get into a little bit of that. Here are these acoustic sounds. Essentially, you know, we've worked on the teardrop. Okay. It, it all begins with your center crease. Okay. You're starting with an open crown in the middle. And then out. Check it. Symmetry. Okay. okay. Make sure you know where the back is. Feel the bow inside there, so you're teardropping the right side, okay, flatten the back out, okay, just did it blindly, so I'm going to turn around and look at it now, make some revisions, corrections, try to have this curve, just sort of echo this curve in a weird way. It's not exactly even. But 
Hmm. Looks okay. Okay. So here's our like uh, makeshift, uh, you know. Here's our teardrop. Okay. Now once you got your teardrop, uh, your teardrop pretty much steamed in. You know, you're gonna want to uh, steam the outside, get this nice and round. One good method is to take your fingers, kind of the nice fluid motion while it's steamed. You know, like that. And you can pinch it in. But if you don't want it to look all pinchy, you know, you want it to be even. Get a nice, sort of this fluid motion, you know, like an artist wants a nice flowing line. Kind of like that. Revise your, your curve here. If you feel like you, you screwed up, you went too high, too low. This is the time where you, you look at it, get it right. Okay. Now, I like to do this thing with the two fingers to get the... Uh, the point in the back. So what I do is something like this. Pulling out with these thumbs a little too. And these fingers guide it into a point. Pulling out, guiding it. There's my fingers that are pointing. Okay. Now obviously you're doing it kind of blind, so now you want to go back, pinch this, pinch this a little. And, and look at what you did. You want to, um, you know, you want symmetry. So you go back and what you do is you're going to make this line straight and this line straight. They're straight lines. And before it was a nice curved line, that's how you started it. You're going to mark your middle and you can do that thing with the fingers. Okay, so kind of visually mark where your middle is Put your fingers there to the center okay then push in push in so it makes the shape of your fingers a little and pull out a little bit here not a lot just a little here with the thumbs okay so you got your basic diamond from that point there you could hit it with a little steam here and here pinch it in and the diamond should go low a little bit like a teardrop, but not, not so much. Um, I like to keep that kind of subtle. And uh, it's, I wouldn't even call it a novice mistake. It's a mistake that I still make to this day. Um, don't go too low. It's like something that's very easy to do and um, you're very tempted to go too low to get like a lot of a slant. It should be barely a slant. I like to go up. Kind of a little bridge here and then down kind of like at the half point and then you could even lower the front by almost like cutting that off just by tucking it into itself which gives it a nice low crown look and lower that front so it's up little bridge down that's it steam each wall separately steam it pinch it in Steam it, pinch in. If it's nicely steamed and soft, you should take one really hard pinch, as hard as you could pinch. Get it nice and hard, and straighten it. You know, keep it straight, hold it for a few seconds. Move on to the next one. Pinch it as hard as you can while it's steamed. Good amount steamed, you know? You want it to be able to dry. I don't mean to steam it for like, you know, three minutes, but, you know, make sure that, you know, it's nice and soft. So instead of like a big fat lump here, it turns into a really tight crease. Uh, I don't want to do it to my hat right now, but then you do the same thing to these two points that you just made. If you lose it, go back with the fingers, do the thing, upside down. Pinch it in, steam it in. I mean, it's already steamed. You're gonna do this after you steam. You're gonna hold it into place, you know, while it cools, basically. And once it's cooled, bam, you're good. Pinch it. That's it, get your bubble. So it's essentially a teardrop with that little V move at the end.
Good to get to the front too. Get your fingers straight though, you know, you don't want curves either way, that way or well, that way. Just keep it straight. Pull it out. Now your, your point in the back can be many different ways, you know, there's all different ways to make it look. I like it just a little bit lower in the back. Not a lot, but just a little. I think it always looks jaunty, bringing it down a little bit. That's it. Um, I purposely didn't steam this in because I really don't want my hat to permanently be a diamond. But uh, I think you guys get the idea. I'm skipping that last steaming step. At that point, if you're not getting enough definition, it means you're not steaming it hot enough or your hat is too soft. If your hat is really, really soft, there's no stiffener in there. You gotta stiffen this area. Spray the whole top area with um, Super Hold, Extra Hold, uh, Hairspray, Aquanet, Aquanet, Rave, Suave, doesn't matter. Get the strong stuff. Um, dust it first. Get all of the dust off of every single speck with packing tape rings. Make rings of packing tape. Every piece of dust that you forget to pick up is going to be sealed under the hairspray forever. So you want it to be completely free of every speck of dust. Open the crown, just, you know, clean it, then spray the top, let it dry. And then what you're doing is you're just melting that little coating, that hard coating you just created when you steam it. And then you hold it as it cools, it hardens up again. Okay, turn it around. hard to get symmetry when you're doing this. Sometimes what you got to do is turn it back around and then just go and fix it up. It's, um, you're going to want to make these things curved. It's easier to do them curved, but the idea is to make them straight. You want each one of these lines to be stick straight. And that's about it. Here's your diamond. Da -da. Ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Do that, 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 do that,